Hi, I'm David Cantor with the Law Offices of David Michael Cantor, and today I'm going to talk about theft in Arizona. Now, under Arizona Revised Statute 13-1802, theft is defined as controlling the property of another with intent to deprive. Also, you can convert services without authorization or with material misrepresentation. What does that mean? Stolen cable. Uh, you're in a cab and you run away without paying. Dine and dash at a restaurant, things of that nature. Um, Non-return of a rental car, although sometimes that's called theft of means of transportation. Um, also, control of lost property, meaning you find money or property without reasonable efforts to notify the owner. Control of stolen property with reasons to know it was stolen. Just because your buddy, buddy gives it to you, if you have a reason to know it was stolen, you may want to ask some questions. And lastly is controlling the property of a vulnerable adult by intimidation, deception, or without adequate consideration. What does that mean? Somebody who's mentally incapacitated or an older adult, you get them to write you checks or you have them quote unquote loan you their car for years on end, things of that nature. Now punishment, if you have no prior felony convictions, there are six or seven different levels of punishment. First of all, if the property is $100,000 or more that was stolen, you're looking at three to 12.5 years in prison. If it's $25,000 to $99,999, you're looking at probation up to 12 and a half years in prison. $4,000 to $25,000, you're looking at 8.75 8 years in prison, anywhere from probation to 8.75. Three to $4,000, probation to 3.75 years. Two to $3,000, probation to two and a half years. One to $2,000, you're looking at probation to two years in prison. Now, if something that was stolen is less than $1,000, then you're looking at probation to six months in jail. What does probation mean? Well, under probation, a judge can say, I'm not going to send you to prison. Instead, I'm going to give you probation, and he'll give you some conditions of probation. But as a condition, he can also sentence you to one year of jail, anywhere from one day in jail up to one year in jail. So still some serious consequences if you're convicted of theft. Now, in regards to defenses, the most common defense is consent. What this means is you have a close relationship with a girlfriend, boyfriend, a roommate, husband, wife, and the relationship goes bad. Then suddenly it becomes, my roommate stole from me, or my girlfriend stole from me. Also, many times there's loans of collateral, like, hey, if you give me a loan, roommate, I'll give you this, um, I'll give you this iPhone as collateral. Well, it turns out the iPhone's stolen and you didn't know that. And that's the next defense, mistake of fact or lack of knowledge. Um, for example, in fraternity houses, we see this a lot. It's where somebody in a fraternity house says, hey, you can go ahead and use this, no problem. Or a neighbor says, go ahead and use this, or in dorm rooms. And it turns out they didn't have permission from the guy who actually owned the property. So that is a defense. Uh, pattern of past giving. If you're accused of defrauding a vulnerable adult, if we can show that in the past you've been given money or valuables for being a caregiver and it's reasonable, then you're going to have a defense. Um, standard defenses that we see in all sorts of cases are Miranda rights, uh, coerced confessions, um, denial of right to counsel. You say, officer, I want to talk to my lawyer, and they keep pressing you for statements. Suggestive witness interviews where the officers press other witnesses to make claims against you, and just plain sloppy police reporting. We use all of these as defenses. So if you or a loved one has been charged with theft in Arizona, you're going to need a lawyer who knows what they're doing. We have four certified criminal law specialists on staff. We'd love to help you out. So give us a call or go to dmcanner.com and fill out a form and we'll contact you back immediately.